Ah, it's nothing like a good beer after work. And what's even better is getting some parts show up in the mail for your bike. Super excited. Finally got myself the integrated tail light from Moto Dynamic. So we're gonna unbox it, install it, test it out and see what it looks like. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Jay, where I'm gonna be filming all things motorcycling, specifically touring on my MT-07. And if you've seen me a few times already rambling about my MT-07, that's the universe telling you to hit that subscribe button. All right, so we'll first start with the unboxing. My handy dandy screwdriver. Ah, I'm just playing. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Damn, that looks nice. So I'm super stoked. Installing this, I'm gonna be able to get rid of that fat ass uh, license plate holder on the back, get rid of those fat looking pumpkins. It got the turn signals integrated into it, so super stoked. <clears throat> it should be a relatively install, just a plug and play more or less. What else is here? All right, let's get into it. All right, after I finished my intro, I turned on my shop heater, which then turned any audio useless for my video. So you're obviously gonna to wanna to take off your seat and remove these bolts to have access to the underside of your bike. So after you remove those bolts, you'll notice that everything becomes a lot more looser. I felt like I needed to remove these side fairings to have access to removing everything to make it looser. Apparently you didn't need to do that, but I did it anyways. Those two bolts that I'm referring to when I pulled my hand up, though you do not have to remove those, that is just a locking mechanism for your seat. So you don't have to remove those two bolts. But if you do, it just makes everything a lot more easier to be able to feed the wires back and forth through. There is a zip tie underneath that you have to cut. These two bolts on, on your left and right side of your underside of your bike, you have to remove both of them because there is a they are attached to like a mud guard which if i'm assuming you're removing your license plate holder you're gonna have to remove that to get all of that out here you can see me fiddling with the side fairing bolts i don't believe you have to remove them but i'm gonna come back to this afterwards so i'm gonna skip over this right now once i put it all back together after removing all of the bolts that holds the side fairings in place i popped out the two push-in plastic screws underneath after struggling to remove the side fairing, I had realized that there was some more uh, plastic push screw pieces I had to pop out. After all those push screws were removed, I was able to remove the side fairings and then remove the tail light from the rear. At first I thought I had to remove the plug from the tail light housing, but that is not the case. You have to follow that wire all the way up and there is a bunch of switches and then you pull the entire wire out. About right there is where all your wires are going to be for your signal lights, tail lights, license plate light, and everything. So you just have to disconnect There's it. a zip tie right there that you're going to have to cut and there's also this sort of rubber looking thing that you're going to have to cut. You're going to have to cut the strap for it to pull all the wires out. To remove the license plate bracket you're gonna have to remove uh, two bolts on either side once those are removed your license plate bracket will drop down assuming that you pulled out your, all of your plastic push screws then you will have to disconnect your signal lights brake light tail light and license plate light and you'll be able to pull that entire piece out the entire integrated tail light from Moto Dynamic is truly plug and play all you have to do is disconnect your wires and plug in the new tail light that you have so here you can see me talking about my license plate. I have yet to buy a bracket for that. I had actually posted this on my Instagram and I had a couple people tell me that I can reuse the plastic push screws and attach my license plate underneath. I will do that for the time being. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys that shortly. Just running a quick test to ensure all the electricals are working properly. This is the running light, the sequential brake light and the left and right turn singles. After putting everything back together, I will show you guys with the lights off how everything looks. So stay tuned. All right, so it's been a couple days since I took everything apart. I'm gonna put it all back together now and, uh, and continue on with this video. I'll sh like I said, I'll show you guys shortly what the light looks like. All right, so the GoPro died as I was doing the install. So there it is, it's all super nice and clean. I freaking love this light, it looks so good. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it looks like now very shortly. Just wanna do my outro. So once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you got something useful out of this video, hit that like button. If you got any questions, please, please let me know down in the comments below. I had a few issues with this. I know this video was super quick, 
I mean, I did a full install video in like five minutes. So if you need a longer video, maybe let me know and I can make a longer video out of this. I also had said that I was gonna show you guys attaching the license plate underneath using the push screws that came out of the original underside here but I ended up breaking all of them when I had taken it all apart. Uh, so I can't redo that anyways. So I'm gonna, I'm picking up a license plate bracket. I'm gonna pick that up real soon. So I'll sh show you guys the install on that as well. So for right now, I don't have it, but if that is something that you wanna do, the two rear push screws do line up perfectly. Um, for me, it was just gonna be a temporary option. Anyways, I mean, it's like minus and right now in here in Canada. So I wasn't gonna be riding anyways. I was just gonna do that just for now. Uh, so I am getting that license plate bracket. But anyways, I'm doing enough rambling. So I'm gonna show you guys what the lights look like. <laughs> 